Is witchcraft really evil? Is witchcraft real, you ask? Yes. Witchcraft is very real. There are more than 10 million witches in the United States, with new practitioners on the rise daily. Being a witch is slightly different than what you may have seen in the Harry Potter films. There is real magic to the craft, but witches themselves are not turning people into toads with a whip of their magic wands. They are not disappearing into thin air, nor are they flying through the night on broomsticks. In witchcraft, real spells are cast, but not in the way that Hollywood would like you to believe. Most witchcraft spells are performed with positive intentions, such as encouraging the health of someone who is sick, or performing a ritual to bring luck and prosperity into their own life. However, there are a few witches that practice witchcraft for real evil purposes. Not all witches are good, much like regular people. The art of real witchcraft is one of the oldest religious practices in the world. The oldest instruments of the real craft that have been discovered date back to 40,000 years ago, while the practice of real witchcraft dates back to Paleolithic times. It is very much a way of life, as you may have heard from the modern followers of Wicca. During the Middle Ages, and in the event known as the Inquisition, the practice of witchcraft became outlawed throughout most of the Christianized world, an offense punishable by death. A witchcraft hysteria broke out in the early colonial history of America in Salem, Massachusetts. Obscene torture methods were implemented by the church to extract confessions. This period is often cited as the beginning of the burning times. While the real witches as opposed to the thousands of falsely accused witches were burning, some religious officials of the Catholic Church had seized many opportunities spanning hundreds of years to procure witches' knowledge, simply by confiscating some of the evidence. A common exhibit of evidence displayed at trial, besides village hearsay, usually revealed a practitioner's book of shadows or some sort of grimoire spell books. Clergy members in the ranks of nobility could now conveniently keep secrets of the witch's sorcery to themselves, under the facilitating guise of doing the Lord's work by destroying the evil artifacts post-trial. Some of these hypocrites would go on, contributing to the wisdoms of witchcraft and science, inadvertently planting a seed of evolution for what would become known as modern chemistry. Some witches escaped persecution altogether keeping their rituals and traditions shrouded in secrecy, known only to their relative blood. There are many witches in the craft today that proudly claim direct lineage to those who survived the burning times. In modern times, not all witches are Wiccan. Many are solitary practitioners that are not associated with a particular clan of witches, or coven. There are many paths of the craft, much like there are different denominations of the Christian faith. Witches identify divinity within themselves, and recognizes divinity in all life. The witch seeks to work with energies that are present in the universe in order to create powerful changes in their microcosmic environment. The witch's power comes from within, and it manifests the witch's desire in obeisance to natural laws. You can become a witch if you have the will to attune yourself to subtle energies, and if you possess the impetus to study how your energy plays an integral part in creating your reality. If you want to learn more about the art of witchcraft, we would like to recommend you check out Witchcraft's Secret Manual. Click the link below this video, where you see the published or description box today.